Howdy, welcome. This is Eugene. All right, so you want to replace your carburetor on your little two-stroke motorized bicycle. Well, this video here, I'm going to show you how. I may tell you a little bit about how carburetors work and the like. So we're going to take the old carb off. First thing you're going to do, you see this uh, cap here that's got the uh, throttle cable on it? Well, here, let me show you on the, uh, on the carb here, right? All right. So you're going to unscrew it, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. You're going to turn it counterclockwise. We're going to remove it, pull that sucker out. Now there you see the, uh, the carburetor slide. You're going to turn your gas off before you go pulling your gas line. Otherwise, you're going to get gas all over your uh, feet, right? We don't want to do that. All right, so you see that screw right there? So we're going to loosen the screw up. We have to take the carburetor off the intake manifold. And looky here, we got the uh, thing stripped down for you there. You may need to hold it with a pair of pliers. All right, so you're going to need to give your carburetor a twist, pull back, and remove it off of the intake manifold. All right, so here's the new carb. Let's go ahead and start with what we got here. Is we're going to put the throttle cable inside here. And you're going to do that by unscrewing the cap. Here, the cap comes off. You've got your spring, which goes inside, and then let's dump the cable, and I will push the throttle cable through. Here, I typically will screw this in all the way, get it in tight, here we're going to take the spring, push the spring in here, here you have your carburetor slide here and you've got this slot cut into it here and that is where your cable will go into the cable goes into the bottom now you've got this area here where it goes in then you have this is the bottom of it the bottom is pretty much flush and then as well you've got this little notch here and that notch here is where your idle adjustment screw hits so this is the bottom the bottom has the notch cut out on it your needle here it has four positions here and typically from your from the factory it comes on the the second notch from the top and what you can do is you can change this. Um, for most instances, this is going to work fine. Um, if if uh, you do need, you do find that you're having some performance issues, uh, three quarters throttle, two thirds throttle, and below, uh, you may want to look at this here. But uh, that'll be more in a, in a tuning video here. So you push the needle through here. Remember, we've got the notch on the bottom. We now have this little washer here. Well, the washer has the little groove cut into it. And what that groove will do, that groove is going to point towards the slot. So we're going to put it in. And it's kind of hard to angle it over like this here and twist it at the same time. But what I'll do, I'll pick up on the needle and give it a twist one way or the other. Get it to line up with the, uh, the slot in the carburetor slide and uh, here's where your dexterity comes in here uh, we've got the spring on the uh, the carburetor cap you got the cable pushed through now our job here is we're going to fish this into the bottom of that that groove there bottom of the groove has a special little hole drilled in to accept the barrel or the end piece of the cable and I'm trying to keep my fat fingers out of the way so you can see what we're doing and you're going to slide it up there and then snap the uh, spring pops into the uh, the deep end of the carburetor slide and there you can see the end of the cable there at the bottom and then you got the uh the, uh, the needle pointing at you. Now inside of the carburetor, you see that little hole there? That's your main jet. That's where the needle is going to go into. And you can see here, this pin here on the side, and that pin is going to go inside of that groove. So you got to push it in, get the pin to go inside the groove, and of course get the needle to go into the, uh, the main jet.
Now take a look at that right there. You can see the carburetor slide is all the way down and in. And then here, you can see when I manipulate the throttle, you see how the carburetor slide goes up and down. So we got everything working good there. We're ready to go ahead and proceed. One of the biggest problems a lot of people will have are, is air leaks. And the air leak, most times on their carburetor, comes from this area right here. I'm going to remove the, the clamp to show you. You've got these slots cut in here on your carburetor here where it mounts to the intake and that allows it to, to expand enough to be pushed onto the intake here. If you do not have your carburetor pushed enough in this direction and I'm just saying, if, let's say we only go in like this far right here. Well, if this is only pushed in this far here, you have these openings here which where air is going to come in. If you look inside of your carburetor, there's a, a, a stop here. If this here, to, that, that limits as to how far this can go. So this here will go, where, and you can see it right there. So if we take the intake and we push it to there, I'll put my thumbnail here. That's how far we have to go in. So if I only go halfway, I'm going to be sucking air in through my four holes here. And there, that, that's where we're going to have a performance problem. So I've got my thumbnail here as to how far it has to go in. And it, it's pretty easy. You just twist it there. And I know that I'm seated all the way in and I'm not going to have a problem there. And then I go ahead and, and tighten up my clamp. Like I said, I've got the clamp removed just to show you. So you want to get your, your, your clamp good and snug here. Um, you've got, let's see. With your clamp, you've got this little pin here on the side of the carburetor. Here, and that's used for locating the this hole here on your clamp. So to get everything installed properly, you want to make sure that that pin goes through the hole, the opening there. Let's go ahead and put our screw in. And then tighten up my screw. When you install this here, you want to make sure that you can't twist the carburetor without, without a, a bit of effort. I mean, if, it, if it's a little hard to do, you want to get it to where it, it's, it's firmly on there. That way, with the vibration of running, it's not going to slip off or, or move around and uh, create a, a, an intake leak there. So we've got the fuel inlet, and here is the standard fuel line that comes with the kit. Um, it's real simple to install, however, over a period of time, this is going to become brittle and it's going to shrink up. I recommend you go to an auto store, or if you want, check the link down below. Uh, I'll be glad to sell you a piece of, uh, of this here, of the of, uh, 3 16 inch automotive style, heavy duty fuel line that'll fit on there. Uh, quarter inch is close, but quite often the quarter inch is too fat here to go on there. So 3 16 is what you want. You got to work it, even get it wet a little bit. You want to make sure that you get this fuel line pushed all the way down. And there you go, that fuel line is pushed all the way down. Uh, in the middle of your fuel line, you're going to put your fuel filter. Here, remember, there's the arrow there. So the arrow will be pointing in the fuel line towards the direction of the carburetor. And then the other end of your fuel line will, of course, go to your petcock on your gas tank. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. Y'all come back now, you hear?
Bye.